Welcome back to The Compressor Guru. Man, the camera wafer here today. Now guys, I promise you we're going to get back to doing air compressors, but we've had a stint of zero weather, three or four snowstorms, I had a little surgery, and if it wasn't for helpers, we wouldn't be getting no work done because I have a restriction on how much I can lift. What we're going to do today is I'm going to show you a product we used on a job last week, and it is a cool product. And it's called Fast Pipe, and it comes in a lot of different sizes, and it has a lot of advantages. I'm going to show you a piece of Fast Pipe right now. This is just a little piece that was an end that we cut, and this is your three-quarter inch Fast Pipe. And it comes in like seven and a half foot lengths and nineteen and a half foot lengths. But what we did, we bought a kit and split it between two different customers, and they were both smaller jobs. And what we have is some leftovers, and I'm going to show you the leftovers out of a kit. But this kit is a, it's an aluminum pipe, and you cut it to whatever length you need. It's really easy to use. You cut it with a regular pipe cutter and the cutter comes in the kit. Now I've bought two kits over the last year or so and we've got two different types of cutters. This is the bigger one but they're both good pipe cutters. So you cut the pipe. You Aren't you going to show us how? I don't want to waste the pipe. Guys you all know how a pipe cutter works right? You screw it down until it's a little bit tight, you spin it around, you tighten it up, you spin it around, you tighten it up, and I'm not wasting even a short piece of pipe just to show you, Val. Well, I knew how to do it. I thought maybe you weren't sure. So. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure. So you cut it, you get a deburr, and this deburr works on both the inside and the outside. This is the outside side, and you take it, and you... Just work it both ways and see you took a nice little bevel on that outside edge and then you have the inside part of the deburr and you put it inside the pipe Do that a little bit more because we have a little raggedy edge there. The outside, the inside. That looks better. You have your little bottle. This comes in the toolkit. There's no water in here. Because <laughs> you, you didn't want to waste the water? I don't have water here. Oh. <laughs> and this is your. Fitting. You slide it in, you tighten it up, and you get two different wrenches in the kit too. These are little spanner wrenches that are made specifically for the... Uh, they're just little plastic vinyl things? Yeah. Huh. And there's two different ones of them, and they have different angles on the other one. You slip it over the nut. You tighten it up appropriately, and there you have a connection. Literally, just as fast as we explained it here, we were able to put that pipe into that joint. Well, in addition to these, you have elbows that come in the kit. You have unions. Oh, I don't have an elbow out of the plastic, but you have elbows that come in the kit. Tees and unions. Never let it be said I'm anti union. I'm all for them. So, <laughs> uh, guys, when you buy one of these kits, you get, I gotta look at my script. When you buy one of these kits, you get 90 feet of pipe. 12 pieces of 7 foot 6 inch pipe, 20 mounting clips, I forgot to show the mounting clip. So, 
You're going to need a screw. There we go. There's a little mounting hole. You put a screw into the wall. Turn toward me just a little bit. And down. There you go. Yep. You put a screw into the wall. You mount it to your wall. You put your pipe into it. And you snap it shut. And you now mount it to the wall. How many of those do you get? You get 20, 20 mounting clips. You get seven unions. You get five elbows. You get two T's. And so this is the really cool part. That's not the only cool part, but this is the cool part. I really push our plumbing customers to doing uh, smart plumbing. This is your wall mount manifold. And you put your pipe into the top. And of course, you should, you should spray it. But you put your pipe into the top. You have a drain valve for the bottom. And this will act as a catch to gather water for the pipe water does come down the pipe and that's off they give you a couple plugs now there's four open holes these are half inch holes but you take and you put plug you plug off the ones you don't need and on the on the job we did last week we uh, actually plugged all four holes because we didn't have the right connection to go to their air hose so next time I go back I'll put the air hose connection in and I uh, have it total finished and that won't be a charge to them I just finished it up but uh, four screws you mount at the wall and you've got a place to run four hoses or four applications coming out of this manifold and it makes it very nice and neat so this is the fast air pipe system these kits are available in different uh, sizes they're available in different lengths but the this particular product is the three quarter inch kit with 90 feet of pipe it comes with three wall outlets two T's and the tool kit which consists of two different wrenches like this and the deburring tool the a pipe cutter this is the nicer of the two I've got for the pipe cutters and your spray bottle I bet she's happy it's not loaded now I bet you're happy it's not loaded right now <laughs> but uh, guys that's the advantages this is a nice it's a fast, easy way to run pipe. By the way, it is light. This pipe is this pipe is light, and it is good for air pressure. This job we went to, the owner had done some plumbing himself, and we were tying a couple tanks into the system uh, to improve his cycle time and of quality of air because we went and put the tanks in series and back into the system so every tank acted as a drier and drier tank the customer had run PEX three quarter inch PEX and it's only rated for 180 pounds now it works but we had to make sure when we got in there that he wasn't running high pressure and the final result is we set the pressure at 145. Guys, don't run PEX. It looks good, it's easy to run, it's cheap. But don't run PEX because you are limited on your pressure and we treat compressed air as an explosive problem waiting to happen. So, those are the advantages. This is a cool product. They're available in three quarter, one inch, inch and a half, two inch, and three inch. You want the disadvantages? there's one these fittings are very pricey if you're not buying the kit 
The fittings by themselves are very pricey. This manifold by itself with the drain and the plugs, that manifold by itself is just a little under 50 bucks. Uh, you get three of them in the kit. The this is either this is less than twenty dollars. It might be fifteen dollars, but the fittings by themselves are expensive. There's your disadvantages. But if you've got a little project, we had two little projects, and we did both projects with one kit, and build the customers appropriately for the parts we used. We do have some parts on stock, as you see. So uh, fast pipe. Oh, I did everything but give you the price. We are beating Amazon. We are at $452.95 plus FedEx plus Pennsylvania sales tax if you're in Pennsylvania. If you're not in Pennsylvania, uh, we, we're not allowed to collect sales tax anywhere else. So, as you see, we've uh, thrown a few clips in here of our job this week. And... That's Bryce. Bryce is helping me, and if Bryce didn't help me, and if Scott didn't help me, I couldn't be working. Because I got a 10 pound weight limit for another two or three weeks, and I covet your prayers. Guys, if you are interested in any of these fast, fast pipe products, get a hold of me through thecompressorguru.com, and I would love to hear from you. And Everything you see us talk about on this channel, we do sell, uh, whether it's compressor parts, tools, whatever. So, uh, you guys have a great day. Stay warm out there. We're having a heat wave that's up to 16 here right now. God bless. You were quiet today. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of The Compressor Guru. Please hit like and subscribe and use the notify bell so you will know when the next new episode is released from The Compressor Guru. God bless you and have a great day.